Once again, I am back for another video to chat. Hey everyone, it's Edo4, and welcome back to my channel, Edo Numo. And for those that are new, welcome. So, in today's video, we will be talking about the my first Korean video report ever called Flinko, which is Fine Killing Liberty. Also, uh, on that note, for two previous Korean tributes is two of the videos of how Blank Create Blank from SES in one time will be in the link of the description. Like usual, I will go over the history of the group the best way I can while speaking Korean at the same time and as well as having the English and Korean subs at the same time as well. So let's begin the Hailu wave. Our story starts off in Korea with our leader, Ak Joon Hyun, born in Seoul, South Korea in 1980, March 20th. Lee Hyori, born in 1979 on the 10th of May in the city of Cheungwon of North Cheungwon. The second to last member, Lee Jun, born on the next day, year, and city of South Korea, just like Ak Jun, March the 21st of 1980 of Seoul, South Korea. Last member is Song Yuri. Born in 1981 in Tirbijin, West Germany. Life during these times in South Korea, the economics was really turning around for the better with everything growing, especially with the music and entertainment scene doing great as well. Fury has grown up poor in a neighborhood that is a near barber shop apartment that is eight feet. Since she was expelled from middle school from entering restricted areas in school, she had to work part-time in a restaurant. Jin and Ak had always hung out with each other since they were in elementary. Lastly, for Sung, she officially went to South Korea when she was four years old. Her father was a professor in Germany, and her family grew up in the city of Gangdong District. Lee was at the mall taking pictures with a friend and she was scouted from somebody from an up-and-coming label called DSP. Sung was on a school field trip, and that's how she was scouted. Lastly, Ak entered a radio contest. She sung Mariah Carey. And then when she was signed in to the label, they needed another member. So that's why she included her childhood friend Jin to get into the group. Once she has sung a song from the group Echo, she was in. And that there, folks, is how we move on to the next chapter of Flinko's debut. Before we get to the two albums released from Flinko, we got to talk about the label company itself called DSP Media Records. Day Song Enterprises begin in 1991 of October. Technically, in 1987, with their first group called Sumbencha, translated as Fire Truck, from 1987 to 1996. I believe in 91 was the official year for the record label to be a company. And I also like to point out is that this is technically the first boy band in Korea. Their popular group from that label was Zam from 1992 and 1995 and Idol from 1995 to 1997. But the unthinkable happened. Another record label that were really new just like them called SM Records released H.O.T. High Five of Teenagers that overshadow all the groups from their label from previous label before hot of H.O.T. 
What's even worse is that at that time, they were going through a financial crisis in the next year. So they needed a way to make a critical hit against SM. And the correct answer is... Six Kids! I thought it was Jinyun san Really? Yeah. I thought it was Shark. Yeah, sorry guys. Um, You guys didn't win the points and you guys are now down to the zero one. Come on! He's not even Korean! He's Chinese, bro! Neither are we, dude. Whatever. Yeah, that is true, but the Korean market did hit the Chinese market in the late 90s. Isn't that right, Soho? That is correct. I can't wait to see what I win. So, Mr. Kev, what did Mr. Soho win? It's story time, Meadow. Kev couldn't be here. But what Soho has won is a trip to Korea and the rest of the story of Flinko. All right. Thanks, you guys. And until next time, Meet us again at Guess the Artist! What did I just watch? Tyron Cruz. But in all seriousness, Six Kids were the prayers to DSP's problem by adding two members from America instead of one known as Six Crystals or Pebble that started in 1997. In April of that year was their fir not just their first debut, but they just took off like fire trucks with their two albums called Hengwom Bayoka and Welcome to Six Kids Land. The school anthem was pledged on the May 14th of 1997. And lastly, their second album is their own theme park that has opened in the 1st of November in the same year. What was SM Entertainment going to do now? Their answer was the first girl group in their label called SES. Another challenger that came on the scene from DR Record is called Baby VOX, Voice of Expression, released their first album in the summer of 97. Yes, Diva was there too, but they were more leaning on to the hip hop train like Uptown. Even though Sex Kiss at the moment were in their own group, not only making their own movies, radio show, and also becoming a big hit with their label, they were in a bit of a pickle. Even the fact that SM has released their third artist and group that had six members just like them called Shimwa. Someone must have said, We do groupie how am While DSP went back to the drawing board and went into their old tactic and added one more member than SES, and that is called Flinko. And that's how they were born. Thanks, Ak. Their name stands for Fine Killing Liberty. This name stood against oppression of freedom. Their name was also chosen by younger foreigners and kids of Korea that wanted them to have an English name. Sometimes their name could be often called Pickle and often by accident Pickle. Their first album called Blue Rain was pouring on May the 25th of 1998 and stormed to number one on the chart. Their popular song from that album is not just their, the title itself, but also Ruby, and also another popular song that is translated as To My Boyfriend. To My Boyfriend became so popular that it was covered by a Taiwanese artist called Yuki Hitsu. And happy 24th anniversary, Ruby was chosen to the soundtrack of Sex Kiss Movie 17, while winning seven awards during their debut year. Speaking of Six Kiss, they have released two more albums called Road Fighter and Special Album, Fighting on the 15th of July and the third album released on October the 3rd. They were also in the school play with Flinko while being in certain events as well. The second to last 
thing to talk about this chapter is there is Funko's second album, The Last of the 90s. And yes, Six Kiss is actually how I imagine what their name was back in 2017. Moving on to 1999, White. Plinko's second album, released on the 12th of May in 1999. It's their sophomore album that made it to number one as well, with popular songs translated as Eternal Love and Pride, Waiting For You, and so many more. August the 4th on that same year, this is when they had their first concert in Seoul and Taiwan. And here is where we move into the next chapter of the next millennium, a flinko. There we go. We're beginning the 21st century of flinko in Korea as well. Now was sold immediately on October the 6th of 2000 and instantly sold at number two on the charts. Coming up is the second to last album called Melodies and Memories, released in 2001 of April 13th, also placed in second, their, their last album for this chapter called Eternity, kept in the memories since the 8th of March in 2002. Now my friends, the book of Flinkle isn't over yet, they just wanted to take a break for a while. And now we ask, what happens from 2003 to now? Before we get to Reunion, I have to briefly go over the aftermath of Flinkle the best way I can. Let's start off with Ock. She released four albums from 2003 to 2014, which one was called Nanin, meaning I, Remind, Reflection, and an English album called Gold. Other things that happened is she have done theater and television appearances as well. Lee Huey released six albums. From her first album, Stylish E, 10 Minutes was the most popular song of all time. Not only that, she brought fashion, television, and singer to a whole nother level of being the savage female boss of K-pop, while also being in two other groups called SS, AK3 and Refund Sisters. The second to last member is Lee Jun. She continues in business of television appearance and Sang Yuri continues with music with two albums in 2010 and 2011, while she was also on television appearances as well and movies. They have reunited three times. The first time was their album called Forever Flinko released three new songs, released on the 26th of October in 2005. The second time is in the 2008 concert during the winter of that year. Lastly, 10 years later is where they released their recent album called Flinko Best Album in stores on August 18th of 2019 put on the 31st place with a new song translated called Just Like the Song That Remains. Before we end the chapter book of Flinko, I want to compare Ox vocal to show you all that they have not lost touch over those 20 years from Blue Rain. So please enjoy uh, Before Copyright Strikes. Here we go. The best way I really want to end this chapter is, is that I'm very happy that all the members are still alive and active to this day. I am very happy that I've done this video for my very first Korean Report 2. And now, where not in Salon Head Flinkle
What I really like about them is that they all stick together from the good along with the bad times. Their songs are really good because they have the mixture of cute and seriousness at the same time. And they've even completed school with each other as well. Now I'm going to speak in Korean on how I first found the group. Please wish me luck. Funku Chambas de Ichugang Garo Daha Goligo Narun Chodago Hano Hado Haha Boeta MV Ne Narun Hege Na Shagun Merada Wow, this is just like Mini Moni. Wow. Gurum chanum boy da mini moni. Hajima mini moni elbum imida. Goroba potum yaguchi mari mini moni judoja. Ga gunanarun ana isa moni musume gurgo tampopo i naran janai mini moni shokten. Narun guidu dama tago mashita minimoni osham i namu bishu hao hajiman nan geo patanun go karaseso jomba go envi mida kyocha ugo uso <laughs> Do Bonje Narun MV Mida Blue Rain Narun Wet Twinkle and Moo and Pogo Jongwa Hangwa Cho Bonje MV Mida Narun RB Vibe Mida Mugu Group Hong Song SWV, Brownstone, Toto, Choto, Bonje, Sode, Destiny's Child, Hanbon, Sen, Neo, Hajiban, Guru, Hansung, Da. E, Sojumu, Yong, Il, The Pongahago, Sip, Iso, E, Narun, Po, Mida, Hajiman Narun, Dashin, Hangu, Ha, this song was so beautiful, sad, and creative with the performance and music video. Everyone really did their part to make this song, their debut song, very different than everyone else. But the most important thing that won it for me is Aux vocal. It carried the song so well. That's why in the last chapter of this video, I compared her voice of what it sounded like from that time to 20 years ago. It's exactly just the same way I felt when it was C, aka Bada from SES, but that's a different story. Now back to me speaking Korean. Non deo kyokcha gurgo hosen do ninjinda. Funku debutan nalin han. Sanrokta Galun Negam Sam Hangun Gubimida Dal Bonse Artisanun Boaminda Cho Bonse SES Minda Gurgu Yobun Modu Hago Malun J So Jerum Palaminda Sansaminda Oe Ishiboya Funko de Chokota Yongo Seo On May the 25th is Flinko Day and happy 24th anniversary Yongo Seo Malakke My favorite moments of the group is when they were singing covers of songs from Feeling, Bohemian Rhapsody and many more while just having a bond to make their differences 
stick like glue. Did you know that all of them were selected as characters in Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2? Along with their own music of the soundtrack for the game? But this is only in Korean, but they have English options. They were also in a movie two years later called Emergency Act 19. In 2002, two. Happy 20th anniversary to that movie. After all this fun, I shared the best of my knowledge for this video for my first Korean report of Flinkle. And now we move on to the sponsor shout outs. So our shout out for today goes to Akjun, Fan page Lee Huri, Legion, and Suri Yuri for all the members of Flinko. For those that helped out today, I want to give a big shout out to Riv, Malik, Mattak, Kev, my man Soho, Maddie, and also Chiron. Now, the shout outs I have for this video goes to Cypops, Mr. Windows Drawings, Julio Flores, Donovan, Natsumi Song Uta, Jasper the Filmy, Priyanka, Blue Frog, Tokyo Foodie Sarah, No Fate Media Group, Sam, Roko the Comic, and Parasan Bass. Thank you all for watching this video. Deepest apologies for not uploading for a bit. Just a lot of new changes has happened as you guys can see here on my new place. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Happy early and late International Female Day as well. Coming up next is another episode of the podcast. And my next video, I'm going to do the fashion and musical twins, Raha and Rahung. Like always, I'll see you guys around. Annyeong. Goodbye for now. And I will see you the next time around. Ruben, ah, Ruben, oh, just like the song that remains, and also another popular song called "To My Boyfriend Translated." And especially the music scene was working out well as well. So, what Soho has won is a trip to Korea 
and the rest of the story of Flinko. So they need it to wait. Mm. What the heck? He's not even Chinese. He's hooked. <laughs> I know, I know, but the Korean market actually hit the Chinese market in the late 90s. Isn't that correct? I believe in 91. After my first Korean port. Ah. It's okay, just say it. Kaiwa. Oh yeah, wait, 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 wait. Excuse me. 